Dragon Ballers, if you're looking to buy a Dragon Ball Super or One Piece sealed product, make sure to get 5% off using my link to Mystic TCG down in the description. You can also sell cards to them using their Facebook link, which is also down in the description. Buongiorno, Dragon Ballers. We are going over the European webcam regional that took place over the weekend. I am fully decked out with my Italian showdown shirt. Viva l'Italia. We're going to go over this tournament in today's video. This is the first real big tournament of Set 20 Power Absorbed, assuming now that everyone's had time to get their hands on cards they want to play, minus, of course, the newest champ pack promos because those have taken quite some time to get out to players. But besides that, generally, everyone's gotten their hands on all the main set Set 20, as well as tournament pack promos they probably want to be playing in this format. So this will be the first real testament to what the format is going to look like going forward now first and foremost huge huge shout outs to damien from the lookout as well as scrub games i'm gonna have the links to both their youtube channels down in the description they put all this info together through a collaborative effort really really do appreciate them sharing this with me again their links down in the description make sure to follow them for all stuff european dragon ball as well as just dragon ball super in general anyways we'll get into this if you guys are new make sure to subscribe hit that bell so you never miss a video and let's jump right on in we are starting with the overall breakdown of the tournament so there were 133 players this was a online best of one pre-side tournament just like a lot of regionals we're expecting are going to be webcam online pre-side best of one so we have the whole breakdown wheel here but what's really interesting are actually the singleton decks but i guess we'll go over the big bulk first so of course we have a very large majority of red sin chenron and red ss4 gogeta this has been something that's been very very specific to europe they have really favored the red decks but with the changes going into set 20 this makes sense globally now because like i've talked about in previous videos it really seems like aggro is the best positioned strategy in this format with the clear check to aggro being crimson now banned we do we do have the next most represented deck being a blue deck though with gamma and then golden frieza as the fourth most represented deck spoiler alert golden frieza goes on to win this event i'm calling it i mean i should have called this like weeks ago to be quite honest with you guys golden frieza is a tier one deck like it made worlds it's been crushing it in europe even last format and this format is no different we have a set one leader as a tier one deck guys this is pretty awesome and then right next to that we have a brand new leader we have android 21 being the next most rep deck but actually does not seem to convert into top cut that is definitely super interesting but now let's go over the actual singletons there are a few interesting ones reboot beerus being a singleton here is super surprising because again that was a world contending deck and yeah it lost three copies of majin buu but generally i don't think that the deck got too much weaker you could definitely say though it struggles against sin shenron and that's the biggest problem with all control decks in this format they are going to struggle pretty heavily against sin shenron it's even a lot easier to play against gogeta because gogeta inherently doesn't hit you as fast but once turn three rolls around for sin they're hitting you with the eight cost triple striker even their turn two is pretty insane with the uh, dread destroyer and then the fast they get the z awaken uh it can be a real big problem they don't even mind having too many cracked dragon balls in their life because uh, whatever gets them down to three faster than control matchup is honestly preferable and, and they just start putting on way too much pressure so going back into the singletons having an og soul striker is really really funny whereas uh, i'm definitely curious on how many actual soul strikers we had it looks like from this chart here there were two soul striker reboots which again keep in mind has the errata to where you uh, have to now be at four or less life you can no longer awaken with a unison in play that's a really relevant errata to revisit now that people are looking for a crimson replacement set six gogeta br being a singleton i'm pretty sure converts into top cut here but that's generally going to be the exodia deck where people are looking to assemble the turn two kill potentially your opponent's turn one on one energy you're killing them with the ss4 broly scr so uh, again a very interesting one to see a singleton of but that's one that can go really far into the tournament if people are not prepared for it then going through the rest of the singletons yellow baby aod with a lot of recent support also a little bit surprising to see one aod red starter vegeta a deck we have not seen in a long long time blue bojack rip with all those hits uh, mainly to the to the boo unison and then we have ssg trunks green king piccolo a cooler mill a reboot go tanks gohan superhero vegito tn my boy i love that leader even though green generic good stuff is not that great right now uh starter u7 gohan another another leader i'm a big fan of red a13 ss4 goku Zeno, and ape i'm assuming that is representing the uh yellow reboot uh kid goku leader but yeah all the singletons very interesting some you would expect to see more of and generally for this pie chart you know seeing what's most represented i do think makes a lot of sense uh we'll look at some more data that represents this later on but let's go into the actual top cut breakdown 
we have the top 16 here and first place is taken by golden frieza this was philip tarpini your world champion from 2023 so shout out to him for another great performance i'm sure his first regional of the season and he takes it down with an absolute w and golden frieza like this is again is the set one tier one leader this deck is just so good and what's really interesting is i think this might be the perfect format for golden to thrive like don't get me wrong it did very well last format but golden has some of the same issues that crimson has meaning it doesn't like to be stalled it does not like decks that don't attack it much and crimson had the same problem we saw that at the world championship golden though in this field where there's so much red isn't gonna have to worry about that as much so so golden gets to its awakened side and can then stabilize against these red decks via all your great yellow floodgates you know repost the new vegito counterplay is actually a really really big help against the gogeta matchup whereas when they play their uh, gogeta triumphant together you counterplay a vegito and now they can't just clear your entire board for free uh, that's a really really big deal they get like maybe one battle card swing and then one triple strike swing at your leader as long as you stockpile super combos you're getting out of that no problem and you're going into your next turn with your established board that's a really big deal going along though we have starter android 21 uh so i'm not quite sure what's going on here unfortunately i don't have the deck list but if this is actually the expert deck 21 this is not the correct uh graphic to represent that so um you know hopefully the the deck lists get released at a certain point but if this is meant to be the expert deck 21 that deck did actually get a really cool piece of support out of the recent tournament pack it literally just got a one drop that i'm pretty sure at the end of every turn sacks one of your energy and that triggers your leader effect to uh, replace that energy and draw cards so having that be a super cons consistent way to generate draws on your leader as well as i believe it has a combo effect that um does the same thing basically sacks an energy and then replaces the energy during your opponent's turn which is a way to trigger draws on your opponent's turn so with all that in mind um that leader did get a really interesting piece of support that's not a deck that i've personally tested although i did find it very cool when i read that tp here on the channel uh yeah so if that's the expert deck leader very cool stuff to see it here i wonder how much of the new 21 support it would have ended up using because that's never been like as much of a control oriented strategy as either set nine or maybe it was set eight 21 leader versus uh set 20 android 21 uh this has definitely been a bit more of like a mid-rangey deck so i would actually be very curious to see this list but going into third place we have cumber yes uh this deck is really really good a lot of people were clowning me for calling it an s tier deck out of set 20. the deck's really good man um it's not super flashy in terms of like being ultra aggressive or having some insane high-end boss monster but it's just a really consistent deck it draws a lot of cards which is not something that black has generally been able to do generally black has just been super aggressive or you've been hatchiac but cumber actually sits somewhere in the middle where it's able to amass a very large hand and then just drown the opponent out like literally the deck is full of pot of greeds like pot of greed is banned in Yu-Gi-Oh. this is at like eight in cumber so it's really really strong for that regard then we do have a set six gogeta so this being the singleton copy of the deck actually converting into the top 16 very interesting stuff like that's that turn to kill uh, that quote-unquote exodia deck is something you still have to watch out for have a game plan for it some decks that's easier said than done what's really interesting is i might regret saying this in a little bit but what's really interesting is the uh set six gogeta deck that revolves around the red ss4 broly scr is actually really really good against red decks when they are able to draw the broly on turn two because red doesn't have a great answer to an eight drop barrier card nor do they have like good floodgates or battle tricks that actually stop the um the broly from just outright killing them so that is a really interesting path the meta could take if red remains this popular but then you got stuff like golden freezer that can actually check that deck relatively fine i mean if you go second and they see ss4 broly odds are you're probably gonna lose but if they don't see it in the timeliest manner i mean golden can definitely stabilize especially if they go first um so a very interesting dynamic that can that can form there then we have supreme kai of time there's more supreme kai of time in this top cut but it doesn't make it quite as far as cumber so it's going to be interesting to see which of these two decks actually uh, comes out on top as the best black deck although i do wholeheartedly believe they're both very very good black decks so in general i mean in this particular format the only color really struggling is green which i mean unfortunately is to be expected but let's take a look at some more of the data that scrub games and the lookout were able to assemble for us here so we have deck diversity so this is looking at the pure number of decks for each color so we had 42 different red decks 37 different blue decks so you can see this is a uh, much more than 50 percent of the entire format being red and blue 
which is not something we're unused to seeing i mean that was generally the split last format it probably ended up being a lot more blue dominant towards the end of the format and it makes sense that blue would be receding uh now that crimson is banned although i guess with the way the top cut looked to see so much uh blue even this much blue is a little bit surprising considering yellow did so well but we do have 27 yellow decks so while red and blue do tower over every other color yellow is right back there yellow is like definitely creeping up and i think it's going to probably continue to increase as we uh you know continue to go through this format people figure out how to beat the red decks with yellow people figure out how to beat the blue decks with yellow and people just try more things like golden frieza that's where i think america is very very stubborn i don't know if america is going to adopt the uh the golden frieza hype but we'll see if that ends up being the case and then we have 19 black decks black looking relatively healthy in terms of having a good number of decks there's really only two black decks you could play and maybe you could play some hatchyak as well but um generally still looking okay green though struggling a lot i mean green just doesn't have a ton of the same tools that other colors have maybe i'll do a video talking all about that and maybe that'll help um you know some design how trend towards green in some way i don't know but uh yeah that's what we have here very interesting stuff to look at and we have the final slide here we have the color diversity so this is the different number of leaders per color so in red for example there were eight different leaders that people were playing blue had the most amount of different leaders which kind of makes sense if people are really trying to test the waters and look for crimson replacements there are a lot of different leaders to try out there uh, at least four come to mind off the top of my head uh, but yeah having a lot of different blue leaders makes a lot of sense six different yellow leaders i mean i think the main concentration is probably going to be golden frieza and uh trunks vegeta although trunks vegeta doesn't even convert into this top cut which is interesting in and of itself we have five different green leaders and six different black leaders so very interesting data once again huge huge shout out to the lookout and to scrub games make sure to follow them but as far as this format goes i mean i'm liking the look of it i do always really appreciate when aggro survives a ban list not to say that sin and gogeta shouldn't have been touched but i would much rather have those types of decks to really check the degenerate control stuff because sometimes 21 can feel unfair sometimes um certain control decks um maybe like invoker maybe like golden frieza can get a little bit out of hand so you always got to have a good touch of aggro in order to keep those decks in line the main problem is unless they do hit sin and gogeta in some significant way going forward i don't see how any new red aggro decks surpasses them but i guess you know time will tell about all that but anyways guys let me in the comments below what you thought about this format what decks are you interested in trying in this meta let me know thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one